Привет, меня зовут Дмитрий. Hi, my name is Dmitry, and I'm the product manager for our Link Engineering tools. Welcome to this video. Today, I'd love to share with you how to upgrade your system from 10 to 1 or even 200 gigabits per second, taking into account traffic demand growth and using our DPI Link Configurator. And it's going to be quick, easy and efficient. Isn't it what all Link engineers dream about? Just stay tuned. Suppose you need to assign wavelengths in DWDM signal when high bitrate channels are added. And of course, you need to take into account all the engineering constraints and to upgrade the add-drop equipment with lower expenses. You will probably begin by asking yourself the single question, how can the wavelengths or the spectrum range available in different fibers of a network be utilized more efficiently? I just happen to have an answer. Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce the hero of the day, the setup node equipment, the design automation tool available in VPI Link Configurator. Let me show you how it can configure your add drop equipment and allocate wavelengths for you in the bat of an eye. It will be nice and easy, I promise. Let's quickly take a look at the network design. This design is based on an example of Metro network discussed on the Optical Internet Working Forum. A typical scenario some time ago was that high bitrate services are used in core networks and lower bitrate services are used in metro networks. However, high bitrate services migrate to metro networks to meet a growth of traffic demand requirements. The intriguing question here is how to assign wavelengths to newly added services and to minimize expenses on equipment upgrade. The solution should resolve several issues. Reuse installed equipment for instance ODMs and 10 gig transceivers. Keep wavelengths of operational 10 gig services if fixed wavelength transceivers are installed. Minimize cost of added equipment. For instance, extra ODMs might be required to accommodate traffic growth. Minimize wavelength utilization. Another issue to be taken into account is constraints imposed by high bitrate services. In other words, signal bandwidth and channel separation should be accounted for. Also, this task might be quite trivial for a linear DWDM system, but becomes error-prone, iterative and time-consuming for a mesh network. Even for a small mesh network with several nodes, the optimal solution is not obvious. Our automation tool is there for you to simplify the design process and drastically reduce the time required to design add drop configuration and to allocate wavelengths. Let's start the setup node equipment and see if the tool can upgrade the configuration in several clicks. Here I need to quickly point out that I created the original drop configuration for a lower number of channels using VPI Link Configurator. The software provides the workflow for DWDM network design, including such steps as physical and logical topology establishment, add-drop equipment configuration, link loss and dispersion compensation, performance assessment and rapid generation. For now, we will focus on the Setup Node Equipment tool, which automates the design process and allows you to configure easily a drop equipment either for a newly designed network or for a network being upgraded. Now the game is afoot. As we can see, the Setup Node Equipment has just read the current equipment configuration, the services configured earlier and the newly added services. The challenge here would be to allocate wavelengths and equipment for the added services. At the first step, the setup node equipment wizard shows us the wavelength specific equipment configured earlier and it allocates new generic equipment to accommodate new services if it is required. What is interesting here is that the setup node equipment will keep the wavelengths allocated earlier and minimize the added equipment and allocate wavelengths for new services to make wavelength utilization more efficient. We are now only one click away from the solution, with the required ODM configuration and the wavelengths assigned to newly added channels. There we go. As we can see, the same ODM configuration can be used, which means that no new ODMs are required. Extra transceivers are required to generate new optical channels at particular wavelengths. These new optical channels will carry new services specified in the topology view. We are almost there, a few more clicks to finish the design and we will do them at the next page of our setup node equipment wizard. Now the transceivers need to be selected for new services. 
The nice thing here is that the equipment configured earlier can be reused. And now, ladies and gentlemen, attention! Here comes the final click and the setup node equipment wizard is placing the add drop equipment configuration into your design. Now let's have a look at the resulting design. As we can see, the same number of wavelengths is used in the whole system. No new wavelengths are added. Now we can take a glimpse at the wavelength charts. At first glance, the solution looks strange. Why are there unoccupied wavelengths? In other words, the solution could be more wavelength efficient. It is true, if channel widths and quad bands are not accounted for. The channel plan with more compact wavelength plan on a link by link basis can be built. In other words, the channel plan with more effective link loading can be obtained when wavelength tunable transceivers are used. What this tool can also do for you? It can optionally build new add drop equipment configuration, allocate transceivers, specify wavelength preset, assign same wavelengths to optical segments and primary and protecting routes, allows you to configure add drop equipment manually, build solution with or without WSS RODEMs at branch points of a network. Now, let's wrap it up. So there you have it. As I said, nice and easy. The point is that we've just built a cost-effective solution within several clicks. And our hero of the day is the useful design automation tool that can perform quick and efficient wavelength allocation and add drop equipment configuration. I hope you enjoyed this demonstration. It's only a tip of the iceberg on all of the power built into the software. If you found this video helpful, please give us a thumb up. We are happy to receive your feedback. See you in the next video.